To Imagination by Emily Bronte Poem Video Summary Poem Introduction To Imagination written by Emily Jane Bronte was published in 1846. She always calls her imagination as my darling pain. In this poem she considers imagination as a necessity in one's sorrowful life. Imagination has the capacity to enlighten everything one beholds. All through the poem the poet expresses her gratefulness towards imagination and its imagination's presence in human life. Poem Summary Firstly, the poet says how imagination gives her hope and despair. She says when she gets tired of the whole day with all the earthly pain and troubles, and when she goes to an extent of becoming hopeless, imagination, her true friend, calls her. By that call she gets back her will to live and losses her loneliness. Secondly, she compares earthly world and imaginary world. She says the world without her inside world, imaginary world, is filled with despair. She doubly rewards her illusionary world. She personifies imagination as thy. In that world, cunningness, hatred, doubtfulness, suspicion and all the evil emotions never get to rise. It is a world where imagination, she and liberty will remain in an inseparable sovereignty. Thirdly, she speaks of an imaginary possibility where the world that has danger, guilt and darkness around can be felt entirely luminous. This can be made possible by our heart which is bound by bosom by imagining a bright untroubled sky that is warm with 10,000 mingled rays of suns which know any winter days. Fourthly she speaks on the rude nature of reality and truth. She says reason complains and nature's reality is sad as it tells us all, how vain it is to cherish our dreams. But such ruthless truth can be trampled down by the fantasy of the newly blossomed flowers. Fifthly, the poet says how imagination have always remained with her always and forever and made impossible possibilities. She says fantasy balances her life, makes her blighted spring glorious and even brings out a lovelier life out of the death. It also whispers with a divine tone and makes the real world luminous as the imaginary world. Finally, she praises the qualities of fantasy. She says she does not trust the spirit version of it as it is abstract. Yet in the evening, and the end of the day, at the quiet hour she would be grateful to it she says she has never failed to feel thankful to it, she welcomes it the one with gracious power, the peacemaker to the human souls, a sweet hope giver that makes life meaningful when hope tries to fade. Thanks for watching. If you liked our video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Click the links below to follow us across other social media platforms and our website where you can read many such easy summaries of English literature. www.literpretation.com